So I recently went to a retro convention and I was working a booth for something else unrelated. And then once I got done with the booth, I had a little bit of time. So I went and explored and obviously incredibly overpriced stuff. Nothing that I'm gonna be able to buy. Super expensive, not my cup of tea, but there was something that was there. Two things really, a Wavebird controller for about 65, 70 bucks. And I'm sure I could have haggled them down, but I ended up not doing that sadly. Something I did grab though, is a Nintendo Wii. Now, I got this thing for a really good price, about what you would get from like a, maybe not as cheap as a yard sale, but a pretty good price. Once I talked them down a little bit, at the end of the convention, people are kind of just wanting to get rid of stuff, so it's great. Talked them down, I got this. It is my second Wii. Uh, I'm getting a second one because my first one has an issue that isn't too difficult to fix, but can create a bit of a problem. What problem that is? Well, it has some old capacitors, I believe. So it actually doesn't display 480i, I believe, or slash any of the HDMI mods or plugins that you plug into it don't work anymore. This one does, luckily. I wasn't 100% if it was gonna work, but now it gives me the chance to remod this because I've not modded a Wii since I was probably a decade ago. And it's gotten a lot easier, but it's still a little confusing, so Keep that in mind. Now, I don't know about you guys. I love this thing, seriously. The Wii, you know, pretty basic, but it's one of my favorite consoles ever. I mean, you know, just the, the game library is iconic. The motion controls, literally a whole new generation of controllers for a little bit before it kind of, people realized they weren't Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, you can't really do the same, right? It was a generational gimmick, really. And it kind of sealed the fate of the Wii U for being so good that they thought they could do no wrong. And Nintendo's been course correcting ever since, right? And with the Switch 2 coming out, some people fear a similar path. But for this video, I'm just excited to dive back into this because there's so much you can do. One of the best things you can do, homebrew this. The older Nintendo consoles are ironically enough, despite their intentions, probably some of the best things to homebrew that you can. Wii U, Wii, and 3DS are all some of the best things you can homebrew and offer an insane library once you do it. And as I stated before, it's super easy. So let's get going. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do, get some sort of HDMI mod, plug that into here. And uh, yeah, it makes it a lot easier, at least for me to record footage and I'm sure to display it to a monitor for a lot of, you know, a lot of people. I don't have any way, aside from jerry-rigging an adapter, to play old-school AV consoles, and I already have my GameCube hooked up to one. So this is a lot easier to do that, and the quality might be a little bit better. We'll see. Next, we're going to want to go to whatever website I put here, because I can't remember it. it. has an incredibly straightforward guide. We're going to click on the Mod Me section, and if you have Windows, this is going to make it incredibly easy. Just follow the guide. Video guides are notorious for going out of date compared to the written guides that they have. So I'll be going through what I kind of did and some of the mistakes that I needed to fix. But aside from that, follow the written guide to a T and you will do no wrong. It is insanely failure proof. I mean it. Uh, as stated before, we're going to follow this guide to the T, which involves a variety of things, like actually using the exploit. I think it's like, it used to be a letter bomb back in the day. I don't know if anyone else remembers this, I thought it was called Letter Bomb back in the day. It's a similar style. Go into your calendar once you have all the files downloaded onto the root of your SD card, once it's formatted to FAT32 for anything smaller than 32 gigabytes, which I would recommend. I got one literally for 32 gigabytes. Then what you do after that is you just go to your calendar, go back a day or two days. I had to go back two days, click the thing, and it starts, starts the motion. It gets you all going follow the guide to a T. Then next, what it doesn't tell you after you follow the kind of mod me guide is you need to install custom firmware. I do this in a second. You have to do some things. I will be linking that tutorial, which is updated and it's written. Follow that to a T, not difficult, super easy. If you can connect to the internet, it will be huge. I recommend you connecting to the internet. If you don't, it, the written, guide has what you need to do for that 
but again, I really, really, really recommend connecting to the internet. It will ask you to update after you connect. Don't do that, don't do that. Uh, but yeah, follow the guide to a T. If you want to install any themes or anything like that, uh, feel free to. I don't care for that right now. I wanted to get everything up and going for the stuff I care about, which is using this to play my backups because disk drives are notorious for going kind of bad when you're playing the game. As long as it's somewhat usable, you can obviously use it to rip your games, which you're going to need to do to get the legal save backups. But as long as you can, you know, it runs enough to rip them, you're fine. Um, so we have WeFlow Lite, uh, which is what I downloaded instead. There we go, the only game we have, mind you. Uh, yeah. Mario Kart Wii. All right, let's 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 see if this one works. There we go, there we go. <laughs> there we go, okay, awesome. Let's pull out the GameCube controller now, all right. Oh man, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if they have a save file on here, whoever this is. I don't know, I think I loaded it up before. And it's brand new. Beautiful. This should be interesting. I might try to, man, I might play through it all. Like a whole new save, man. Sick. Oh, I don't know what knees they have. <laughs> Wii console. Okay. <laughs> so I actually I'll probably try to like edit over this. I mean, this is someone's old Switch, right? So it's not doxing or anything, but I don't know. I feel a little weird about it. Um, so I'm going to probably edit to when we're done. I might make a, use one of the guest ones actually. Here we go. I use this one. Awesome. So that works. I have a sneaking suspicion that it is because I'm using an SD card to load the Wii games for USB G loader GX. And even though it says you can run it off an SD card, I don't think that's true. Um, so yeah. Yeah, one of the main things I would recommend is uh, figuring out the system for hard drives. They have a list, I believe, on the website, uh, or at least on the Mod Me guide. Kind of talks about formatting a hard drive for all this, for Wii games and whatnot. Um, I would look into that. I would look into that. I think just getting an old school hard drive, plug it in using kind of a recommended set of old stuff, I imagine, older gear. Uh, would be useful because I remember I tried to use a memory uh, like a memory stick those don't work those are pretty notorious for not working so I would recommend getting like a hard drive um, and then yeah I would recommend getting a hard drive to maybe just use for um, you know Wii games and GameCube games if you can partition it that way I'm not a hundred percent sure I believe you can I believe you can um, but yeah all right sick sick okay now um, we're gonna go to the Wii menu and we're gonna try something else out. I put a GameCube game on here, so let me get my memory stick. And then we're gonna try Nintendo. Uh, we're gonna try to get a GameCube game working. I, I've i got a good feeling that it's going to work just fine. Um, but yeah, yeah. Again, all the games that I play, there are a couple games you wanna like do some customization for, I think, but all the Pokemon games, all the Mario Kart games, Mario Party, all those games like work and perfect. Pokemon XD, awesome. Uh, just what I want to see. So let's run it. Um, should work. Let me get my GameCube. Let me get the old GameCube controller again. Uh, yes. Aggressive mode has been turned on. Awesome. Now, I don't know if this, I, if my memory card's in the right spot. I believe it's in the right spot. Let's find out. Genius Sorority, awesome game, all right? Pokemon XD, so good. It's a classic. All right, work. Not gonna lie, this Wii is a little on the rough side when I'm putting stuff in, but I think if I give another good uh, scrub, I think it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, let's continue. All right, let's see. Beautiful. 100%, 100%. One of the few games I ever actually 100%ed. Did 
to be honest. Um, yeah, as you can see, just basic Pokemon, mostly because if you look here, yeah, I traded almost everything out. Um, some of this I didn't trade because you get so many. I mean, as, as you can see, I have multiple Mewtwo's. Yeah, I'm kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, some, some cool Pokemon. Charizard from one of my playthroughs when I was doing my Gen 3 Living Dex. In the description, you know, got 100% Living Dex for all Generation 3. One of the most difficult ones. Um, Gen 5 and 4, probably a little more difficult. Um, but yeah. Awesome.